some uh, the final stages now. Um, we'll just turn off work grids so we can see the model without <coughs> any of the grids intersecting it. Um, I'm going to mirror it, so I'll just uh, move the eye and I'll just fill in behind the eye um, on the model. You remember there was a polygon there originally, we deleted it. I'll just use um, modify fill hole, just puts a polygon there, and th that just stops it snapping to the center sometimes. Um, if the tolerance is low, just uh, prevents issues. Let's just put the eye back. Make sure I've got the eye in the right place. Set the eye to smooth shade. I'm just going to do some final detail around the eye in a moment anyway. So back to the head itself. We'll just come back to the front view. We need to make doubly sure that all of the edges um, are actually sitting at 0 on X so double click them and select the entire ring you can see what I mean by the ring by there that's the entire airtight shape of the head we'll switch on a numerical editor and go to position on X is 0 and as you can see then it just snapped everything to 0 on X so when we mirror across there won't be any problems now well pretty sure that the axis was on um, 0 anyway but just to make sure I'll select a point that's sitting on 0 on X and we'll set object axis to there so as you can see select the object and it's right on the center we'll check that the eye has got its um, center on 0 as well, you can do it a different way which is keyboard M just pretty much move it onto the center line so that's the eyeball now so we can mirror that eye across actually so modify mirror we'll just instance mirror the eye across for now get rid of the numerical editor and then we can mirror the whole head across next let's get it in position we'll call up the instance mirror options so we'll change, we're going to keep it local X because we want to mirror across X um, change the tolerance up a little bit and then we'll mirror across like so you can see there that it's slightly out on this side and that's because when I set the original image it mustn't have been exactly dead center so as much as we've matched this half it's not quite made it on that half so what we'll do now is when we go into 3D uh, perspective we'll now use soft selection and uh, we can bring our buttons back now because we don't need to, to use those other views quite so much and using soft selection we'll go back in and now look for any volume problems um, so because the image wasn't quite right it might not look perfect on all uh, on all angles so we'll literally go along and fix any of those problems so the heads drip drop there a little bit on the center line so we'll just fix that even out the distribution of the polygons as well
and now you can correct without really looking at your reference now you can just correct any little issues that you see we'll work our way around make sure the edge loops look right we'll st still do a bit more cutting yet and shaping um, if you just get the overall look and feel of the model right now smooth if needed which I don't need to yet on this back of the head I don't mean subdivide I mean smooth as in the smooth command so I'm quite happy with the way the eyes I'm going to subdivide and have a look at that so we'll put let's turn soft selection off just look at splitting under the eye there I'm actually doing two splits because what I want to do is now add in those creases that were there originally the folds of the lids etc again not really using reference now because um, I'm quite confident in what I want it to look like at this stage now we said we'd run a split in here. Reason being we want uh, a crisper edge there. So I'll run it along like that. And what, I'll, what what I want to do now is just even out the polygons at the top. Which leaves me fine here to Bring that in to give me the crease that I want. Just smooth it a little bit and then go back in and tighten it up again. And then where I've got this problem here, I want more of a crease under the neck anyway. Like so. Which means we can just end that one there without causing any issues and creating any problems. It's fine. Created an issue down here actually, so we'll remove that one and just see what we've done there. They just put the, the the polygon flow all vertical right across the front of the mesh. Which just evened it out slightly. Um, I'll probably tuck this in to give the neck area a more defined shape. And we'll tuck this center area back in a little bit. and then down at the back and that will definitely give me a more pronounced collar Tweaking my way around. You can 
see there it's given us a much more pronounced collarbone hit C and subdivided just to have a look and I was right it, uh, it's helped us with that um, collarbone and I'm going to be tweaking with uh, face mode for a moment just pull that neck in and pull out here to give that muscle a bit more clout really back to point editing for a moment from all angles as usual. Let's have a soft selection back on again. And just give that head a bit more of a pronounced bump. If you're working exactly to a reference then be careful we're doing stuff like this because I'm not using the reference much now. I'm just tweaking it to meet my own requirements. Correcting issues that might have been caused because we only modelled one side at a time. So if there's any pinching, like pinching at the centres, uh, correcting the corner of the mouth, for example, any volume issues, just look at it from all angles. The nostril, the forehead was fine. <coughs> Set it to smooth shade. Hide the wireframe. And then just check around um, all of the, mo the model really just to make sure it meets your expectation. And that's the end of uh, of this bit really. Um, you can do more, you can go um, into more detail now and add some more refinements. You can add little uh, bits like the corner of the eye there. Um, lots more you can do, should you need to. Well, that's a lot of the tools I would use for um, what we call point by point. What was actually more sort of edge extrude is the main tool we use. Um, that's the end of this segment.